morning, good morning. Been a while. We have uh, taken about a week off because I was messing with Madden 23. And uh, it's time to get back into this Arkansas dynasty and uh, get this second season over with. <clears throat> so, um, real brief summary because it's been a little bit. You guys on YouTube, all you got to do is go look at the last video. So, appreciate you guys. Thank you for the views in the past week. It's amazing how that works. Um, make sure you hit subscribe and like and leave a comment good or bad don't care do something interact um all right so we are three and oh we beat uh georgia who was like number two or three at the time uh manhandled tcu and then finally got our first shutout with this head coach so uh, we're now we're going to go on the road we are on the road at texas a&m south carolina and alabama so uh Shouldn't be too difficult, but you never know. That game against Alabama is always tough. No matter who I play, they always uh, have trouble with them. So, Rocky Top's averaging about 300 yards a game. Running back, less than 100 yards. Wide receiver has over 100 yards, so our, our offense is rolling. Um, recruiting, we're going to go real, real quick through this. I just want to see who's, uh, remind myself who's uh, insta-committed, if anybody yet. Got a bunch of guys on the board here, and do we have anybody? No. All right, so we still have some work to do on the uh, recruiting side, so no big deal. We have uh, 18 guys we got to get, so anyway, we're going to jump right in and play. I'm not going to waste a whole lot of time, so uh, let's get started. We're equal on offense. We have a much better defense than them, so put them on maroon. Maroon on maroon. We have maroon socks. I give them a white hat. White, white, regular white. Let's go with this. That way it doesn't blend in with our red. And we're going to go with the chrome. This. Red shoes. And we are good to go. All right, let's go. Hey, Rocky Top, welcome in, man. How you doing? Saw your Discord... Uh, DM about that quarterback you got for Seattle. Yeah, it looks like a cheat code. <laughs> Especially since the uh, Madden 23 offensive lines don't block at all, so he's going to have to run away from those uh, those left tackles. or I'm sorry, the left defensive end because your right tackle doesn't block for shit in that game. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Um, probably could have streamed any, any time over the weekend and just said... Uh, didn't feel like it. It's one of those weekends where you just don't feel like it. So we need to get back in and play some uh, NCAA. We'll get to Madden eventually. Um, as soon as I, I I did order a PS5, um, it should be here later in the week. And so then I'll uh, figure out what I want to do. Wow, they have three five stars coming in. Wow. All right. And their tight end is out. So, no picks in your first game. Well, hey, that's progress because everybody and their brothers throwing picks in the Madden. The uh, the DBs have better hands and better uh, um, route running skills than the uh, wide receivers do. <laughs> this is strange. I usually don't get to play a day game at Texas A&M. Whenever I play these guys, it's always a primetime game. So I'm playing at night frequently so this will be different <clears throat> every time i played against jt and nwo i had a night game at his place so speaking of the uh, nwo they had a uh, meltdown with jt's account which was the commissioner so they're uh they're in a major pickle they may have to start all over <laughs> Thomas 
All right. Man, I've been doing so much of that uh, Sim Dynasty stuff that I, I haven't had a lot of, ton of gameplay in the last week, so we'll uh, figure this out on the fly. Let's just go with a base defense here, see how it goes. Well, he had plenty of time to look for that guy. Pass Rush was uh, trying to get there, just couldn't quite get through. All right, they're going to run inside, so let's get this let's get this safety up in this hole. There we go. Force that blocker back so the other guys can clean up the mess. You guys think that Coach Stranamus is... Uh, too much of a cheat code. Just remember that the uh, CPU knows all your plays. So <laughs> I say it levels the playing field. All right, throw that away. Love it. All right. Linebackers got to do their jobs covering. Safeties need to step up and help out. Wow, this guy is horrible. He had two guys wide open, and he just threw it between them on the ground. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that. All right, we're up to 28 fake punts, guys, and this is prime fake punt territory when they get around their own 40-yard line. So not happening this time. be nice for outside blockers could keep those guys off our returner, but... All right, be nice, nice and simple, and run the ball and see what we got here. I want to get our running tack um, going early so that we don't have the. Uh, problem running the ball later so and we can work on our short passes and then our whole offense will be ready to go the rest of the game <clears throat> so I ref my first matches on uh, Monday be uh, interesting to uh, see how I feel it was supposed to be Friday but they moved those matches revamp hey man welcome in guy Thank you for the uh, resub, man. Shout you out, man. How that last? Did you play that last game last night for your uh, your Falcons franchise? I had to. I had to boogie. Oh. Smack the Bears up. Not surprised. Not surprised. I'm about to smack up the Aggies here, as long as they don't throw the ball away. Yeah, just get rid of that shit. Best passing game? Hey, that's good. At least you're having time to uh, throw the ball. 388 yards, five touchdowns, no picks with Ritter. I'd say that was a good game, considering you ran for over 300 yards with uh, Walker last game. He is a beast. Didn't he like in the low 60s or high 60s, low 70s or some shit like that? Stay in bounds. There we go. <laughs> he's injured in real life, so he's not going to uh, start the season in the mix. 78 when he traded. Oh, so he's higher than I thought he was. Nice catch. Nice catch. Yeah, well, uh, I got to figure out what I... Uh, 
what I want to do for uh, my franchise too. Everybody's taking all the teams I want. So I'm not going to use the, the Bears one that I've been messing with because that was just like for demonstration purposes. So I really wasn't even trying. So I was going to do the Vikings, but Mr. Hurricane took them. I was going to do Seattle, but uh, Mac Dub has them. Um, Houston is way too easy. Of an, I mean, they're 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 going to uh, come on. Everybody's going to pick Houston because it's just a total rebuild. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm thinking about doing the Broncos uh, since that's my favorite team anyway. <clears throat> Yeah, everybody wants to do mutt. <laughs> everybody wants to stream mutt. Get in there. Ah, Jesus. He wasn't sufficiently warmed up. So we're going for this. We're not kicking this field goal. He should be warmed up now. Here we go. Yeah, exactly. It's Rocky Top. Everybody picking all the teams I want to pick, and I don't want to. I don't, I don't want to pick a really good team. Um, Houston would be fun, just because you could just make that whatever you wanted. But everybody's going to be doing that. Yeah, yeah. The Falcons were on my list revamp. I had the Falcons, the Lions, the Texans, and the Seahawks all queued up, ready to go, and so yeah. And yeah, you won't see me doing much. <clears throat> Lions would be fun because you can get a new quarterback to replace Goff. Although, if you use the Chiefs playbook, Goff gets to be pretty good and you can hang on to him. <laughs> so. Yeah, I hate the Patriots. So, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't stand those guys. We lost the Super Bowl to them because Mike Martz was stubborn and wouldn't run the ball with one of the best all-purpose backs in the league. He wanted to throw on those guys and not run. And we had one of the best running backs in the league. So if just run the ball with fucking Marshall Falk against eight DBs, you're going to win. Yeah. And surprisingly, the, the Lions don't have a horrible offensive line. They, they have a hole at right guard but everything else is pretty solid um so if you can just oh he fumbled come on jimmy go jimmy go get off him yeah he just got to fix the defense and you got some you got some stuff to work with on defense too so once you get the quarterback play straightened out now uh, they're gonna calm down but like i said if you use the chiefs playbook jared goff becomes completely usable pardon me in the sim playing if you're going to play the games that's a different story so i have to decide if i'm actually going to play the game i haven't played in so long i think madden 20 was the last time i actually did gameplay so i'm going to be oh well, they said he was down i'm going to be ass playing the game <laughs> so that would be kind of embarrassing but we can do the sim stuff easily um just got to figure out what I want to do. Where the hell is this guy throwing the ball? Hey, revamp. I can show you how to do the scouting stuff. Here, let me pause this for a second. <clears throat> so you don't touch your scouts at all. You don't touch the scouts at all until week one. And then you have to go in to each individual look at the national group of guys and what it says the strength uh, positions are and pay attention to that but then go into each region and ignore what they say the strength is for the region go into each individual region and go position by position and look and see because sometimes it'll say that quarterback is is strong at a region but that's because it has a top five quarterback and then maybe another round one possible quarterback, and then everything else is UDFA. So it's worthless to put a quarterback scout in that region, right? And they do that all the time with other positions. So you go into each individual position and figure out what you want for your scout in those regions. 
And then if you have like multiple positions, say you have wide receiver and cornerback that are really deep, we'll put all of your region scouts on one position, on like on corner, and then put your national scout on wide receiver. The national scout's going to scout them to 95%. Everybody in the class at that position is going to be at 95%. So then you can use the other deep position like corner or whatever it happens to be and use those area scouts to scout that. Now, if you don't need wide receiver or corner, don't pick them. Pick something else that you need and do that. Yeah. And then I have this guide that I got off of Reddit that somebody put together that shows what their combine numbers should be. Um, so if you don't know what their grades are, so they're not revealed what how good they are. You can at least go off their combine and get an athlete that you can develop later because it's hard to develop like speed and acceleration, agility, and all that good stuff. Bench press, um, but you can develop all the other skills. So um, definitely watch. Yeah, definitely watch the first episode. I'll leave the vod up. Uh, definitely watch the first episode when I do it, whether I play the games or we do a sim. And I'll go through and show that to you because we'll obviously we'll start in preseason week one. So we'll get to week one and I'll go through. It takes forever, but once you get it done, you never touch the scouts again. Um, you have to set the focus for each region in week three, I think it is. And then you have to set the national in week eight. But after that, there's a couple of weeks where you have to focus on individual players. So those weeks you just go in and, and figure out what, where you're picking and what you need and, and go extra scout those three guys. But yeah, it took me two, two weeks of just simming seasons and going over the, uh, um, going over the, uh, the scouting to figure out how to do that because it is very confusing if you don't know the, the right steps. So sorry guys who are on YouTube watching this for the, uh, NCAA content. We'll, uh, get into that now the free agency is fucked it's a royal mess i would tell you this if you're trying to re-sign your own players go look at their tags because i know you had trouble with terrell jr go look at his tags because if they're all in the red he's not going to re-sign with you and in that case it's better to trade them somewhere else and go get somebody that's comparable that does want to play for you Ah, try to force that. Yep. So it's, it's, uh, the tags are cool. They're, they're, they're a nice addition, but it's messing up free agency really bad. Yeah. The income tax, you could, you can get it work around that. It's, it's when you don't have the, the quarterback or you don't have the, uh, the winning history and all that other stuff. You can get by if their uh, the color of their tag thing is yellow, but you're not going to get by. Wow, Bad Moon ran into that guy. It should have been interference for one thing. Um, but if they're in the red, you're going to have a whole lot of trouble signing those guys, especially if it's three red. You might as well just trade them. Jesus, nobody blocks this dude. He just comes walking right in the front door. Yeah, the income tax one isn't as big a deal as not having the franchise quarterback or uh, a winning tradition or some of those other things they put on there. Stinky poopies. What's up, man? Yep, got the pigs again. It's been a week or so. Then, uh, Checking out Madden and uh, on franchise and and trying to uh, see what we can see about that game. So we're back. I uh, I want to get this uh, get this season done this week if I can. Yeah, it's okay. It's got some good stuff. It's got some really sh broken shit on it. Um, and you just gotta figure out how much you're willing to tolerate. Um. The interceptions are just out of control. The lack of offensive line blocking is is another problem. I mean, you literally don't have time 
to see who's open when you have dueling slants, right? You're not running down the field. You're just running a slant like this, quick slants, right? I have two guys going on slants, and I don't have time to see who gets open before I'm on my ass. That's a problem. That is a major problem. Yeah. In Madden, I'd be on my ass before I threw that ball. <laughs> so. And uh, if the Mutt guys have problems, then I'm happy, because fuck those guys. This guy walked around three of my linemen, and, and my running back has no acceleration. He has no acceleration. Yeah. I've just been dicking around, not on stream, right? Playing with it just to test the gameplay out because, I, like I said, I haven't played a lot of gameplay since Madden 20. And uh, I looked it up the other day. Madden 20, I put over 1,300 hours into that game. It was like 58 full days of gameplay. So I played the shit out of that on PC. There you go, love. I'll take that. I tried to put it on my new hard drive because it's faster, my SSD. Um, but I couldn't get the uh, controller to work right. The uh, the A button wouldn't work. I had a regular like Logitech controller that I mapped as a Xbox controller. And the, uh, the A button would not work. It's kind of hard to call plays when you can't hit A. <laughs> um... So I had to go back to my uh, my old Windows 7 hard drive where I know it works and mess around on there. So. Anyway, we're going to try and get this all done. You guys didn't hear me say earlier, I ordered a uh, PS5 yesterday. Got a, got a note that uh, PS Direct had... Uh, Nice. Way to, way to hold that guy up. I got to notice that PS Direct had some uh, for sale and to get in the queue. And I was in the queue for less than 10 minutes and got in there and got it. And then my fucking bank texts me thinking it's fraud and declined the purchase. So I had to go through the steps to tell them, no, motherfuckers, it's okay. And then I went back in to try and buy it again. And it wouldn't let me because you're only allowed to buy one per household, right? So then I had to sit on hold for like a half an hour with uh, with uh, PlayStation's customer support just to verify that the uh, transaction actually is going to go through. <laughs> like my bank, thank you. I appreciate the uh, looking out for me, but don't don't fuck me. Let the order go through and let me complain that it was bad, right? <laughs> let me tell you that it's fraud. Don't don't automatically tell me that it's fraud. God damn. I made the chat person laugh because I told him my bank was trying to screw me. Anyway. Yeah, I know. Wow, he got popped. Holy shit. Kyle Love got knocked into Oklahoma on that hit. Good God. Here, we haven't run this all day, so let's get in here and get this shit going. I know. I tried to stiff arm him, and he knocked me into Oklahoma. All right. We need to hold that edge, please. There we go. Wait till I get a better running back. Hey, revamp, when I ran for 400 yards with that one running back, he was 99 speed, agility, acceleration. The dude was, was a cheat code. It was like Lamar Jackson out there running. <laughs> This stretch play, if they block the linebacker and I juke the safety, it goes to the house. I ran this, I think I ran this against JT in the NWO and took it to the house. It was the only good play I had in that game. I should have cut that inside when he was pushing the D end out. Right here. He pushing him out, I should have cut that inside as I had the blockers. Yeah, if they if they block that play correct, it's a house call every time. Oh, 
Are you a walker? Yeah, he's a um, <coughs> he's a uh, user redemption. So one of my mods, Rocky Top, redeemed channel points and got on the team and chose the uh, quarterback. Ah, oh, shit. I looked at the chat instead of looking at the defensive end, and I didn't hand the ball off. <coughs> yeah, you with a, a 96 speed running back like that would be unfair. Here. JT just fucked it up so that Oregon wouldn't be number one, even though he beat Miami. That's the deal. <laughs> he didn't want my my team I put together to be number one. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> my Oregon team was between him and Miami, so he didn't want to see my my team stay number one ahead of him. All right, what do we want to do? Let's try this. Jeez. Yeah, you had a ridiculous class. I got hosed a little bit last year because I didn't have all of my recruiting points, man. Still did a good job, but I could have done even better if I had uh, a little bit of help with the uh, recruiting points. All right. Hold that fucking edge. We'll take that. And of course, it subs in my backup. It's kind of a low-scoring game. It's going pretty fast, too. There we go. So, well, I uh, to get that PS5, I'll be good to go for NCAA next year. Not that I expect it to be worth a shit. I fully expect after a, a month after that game comes out to be back playing this game. <laughs> I think it's going to be dog shit. I don't trust EA with, with anything. So I'll buy the game and we'll check it out. But I expect it to be dog shit and we'll be back playing this game. Unfortunately, they'll, they'll shut down the servers for uh, NCAA 14. So then nobody will get to play an online league unless they play the new game. Yeah, maybe not the first year that you won't be able to edit them, but, you know, eventually they'll get around to it. It'll be one of their new features, right? Yeah, they'll be like, oh, we added this new feature now. This is so good. No, that shit should have been in there from day one, man. Get him. There we go. Good coverage. All we did was run cover two on that one. We didn't even play man. Bring more heat. My uh, D-pad, the bottom button on the D-pad on this controller is sticking lately. I guess I've been uh, going through the, going through the, uh, come on. Oh, he dropped it. Thank God. I was going to say, why is my guy not jumping for the ball? Um, been scrolling through the menus too much and uh, it's stick as, it's sticking. Yeah, Jester. Yeah, they will. I'm sure. Hey, here, let me let me uh, let me pause this for a second. So I bought in CAA 11, 12, 13, 14. I only have 13 and 14. I gave the other two away. Um, back in the day, you could buy uniform updates for certain teams. It was like maybe four or five teams for each uniform pack, and it was like 15 bucks. Let me shut up, Cincy here. It's another goat for NCAA, and then it'll be the show. Um, so I bought all the uniform packs. You could also buy another pack, which would help your uh, scouting. On on, it would help your your progression each year on the players. You could look at how many points the other teams are putting on players. Um, There's all kinds of other stuff, the quality of life stuff you could get. But it was like fifteen dollars, and I bought all of that shit. So they'll do the same thing, I'm sure. Any uniform updates are going to be DLC. You're going to have to pay for it. We're getting spoiled with uh, the revamp guys. Oh, what a catch. 
We're getting spoiled with the DLC or the uh, all the updates on the uniforms, but you know EA's not going to do that, and if they do, they're going to make you pay for it. So it's just a fact of life. Honestly, I wish they would do that with Madden. Just just come out with a new version of Madden every three or four years. Just leave it alone unless there's an obvious uh, thing that's broken in the game. Um, but. Don't come out with a new version. Come out with patches, but don't come out with a new version. But then sell us the roster and uniform updates and make Mutt its own free-to-play game like Fortnite. What's up, Spectre? How you doing, man? Thank you. Separate the two games out and let us have what we want and let Mutt have what they want and make them two different games, man. Come on, guys. Somebody get in here and tackle him. Because they don't want to work on franchise anyway. That's why I think they break that shit all the time. Because they want to drive everybody off franchise and send them over to Mutt. So they, they kind of do that. Oh, there we go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Get the edge. Pick six, pimps. Pick six. These offensive linemen ain't catching him. <laughs> Boom. Oh. What's up, Spectre? How you doing, man? Yeah, we're doing good. We are doing good. We, uh... <laughs> I left Revamp's uh, stream last night, and I was like, all right, I want to catch the end of this Dodgers-Brewers uh, game real quick, and then I'm going to bed. And next thing you know, I wake up on the couch, and it's 3 o'clock in the morning, and I've been sleeping. Game over, man. It's game I've been over. sleeping on the couch for three hours. <laughs> So then I go crawl in bed. So I got up this morning and I was like, all right, grab my coffee, take a shower, eat some breakfast and let's go. Let's get this, let's get this stuff going. Cause we haven't played in so long. It's been over a week. Hey, you guys on Twitch. Cause you don't see my numbers on YouTube guys on YouTube. All I'm doing is archiving these streams. I'm not like cutting this up into shorter episodes. I'm just archiving my streams. And so if I post the streams, like if I stream a bunch in a row and I post them like every other day, I barely get a hundred views, but I haven't streamed in over a week. And my last video has almost 1200 views and I don't promote that shit at all. It showed up in suggested videos somehow. Don't know why. Don't know what their algorithm is, but it's just, it's strange. It's strange. I appreciate it, man. Everybody who finds me on YouTube and watches my stuff, thank you. Um, if you have the ability to come over to Twitch, I would just say, come watch me on Twitch. It's just, it's twitch.tv slash Von Rye STL. It'll, uh, it'll be, uh, a lot easier, but if you're watching on YouTube, put it on double speed. I talk slow enough, it'll sound normal and you can get through it a lot faster. There's no reason for you guys to sit there on uh, normal speed for three and a half hours. I don't expect anybody to watch it for three and a half hours, but I do appreciate all the views, man. Get them. No, you guys, all you guys have been watching me for a year and a half over here, so I appreciate you guys too. Yeah, I, I kind of miss the days of uh, of uh, when we were in COVID <laughs> and everybody was streaming all day long and all night long and you can jump from stream to stream and we were all in each other's streams. It was it was uh, fun, but now that we're getting back to normal, everybody has to get their uh, real job stuff going on. Get them. There we go. Nice sack. I'm calling timeout. Oh, they call timeout. All right, I'll take that. <sighs> Got him again. Call timeout. <laughs> Fourth and 25. Yeah, since yeah, I start work on Monday, but then I get a week off. Pretty much, yeah. Um, I don't, I, I, I do two matches Monday and then I'll go again until like the 8th of September.
And then I'm fucking slammed for all of September and October. I have uh, a bunch of college matches at the end of the at the end of the um, end of October and early November. That was a terrible throw. I wanted to get way outside and hit circle, but that wasn't going to happen. So let's cheese the four verts here because fuck the CPU. Get out of bounds. Thank you. Save my timeouts. Oh, where do we want to go? Let's do this. This stick play is so broken. Now he may hold me up, but I, I bet you I'll still get out to the sideline. Yep. Oh, man. FG almost caught the deflection. I don't know how that guy deflected that ball. Let's do this. And since he, my problem is I drive a Mustang, so my gas mileage is shit. I get like 19 miles a gallon around town. So all the money I would make would get eaten up in uh, gas. Let's <laughs> call timeout. It's going to be bad enough refing when I get to drive all over town. I got one timeout left, so let's throw this, let's throw this slant. Drive Buick. And yeah, my daughter and I switched cars because she was driving a lot. And so she was hating having to pay for the gas. <laughs> yeah, that Mustang gets the same gas mileage as my truck used to. So <laughs> now my son has the truck because he was working construction. And now he's working for Charles Schwab. So he's in an office and now he's hating driving around in a truck. So he's going to buy himself a new car after the first of the year. He would do it now, but there's a uh, tax in Missouri that for every boat and car that you own, so you, you pay tax on your income, you pay sales tax when you buy the car, you pay tax and shit to title the car, right? And then in Missouri, there's a thing called personal property tax where they tax you on the value of your car every year. So it goes down as the car depreciates, right? But they tax you for continuing to own a car. So it's a perpetual tax just because you own the car. Tell me how fucking stupid that is. All right. That was a huge first half, guys. That was 35 nothing. If you don't remember, we got our first shutout with this head coach last game against Rutgers. We beat them 48 to nothing. So... We're, uh, yeah, Spectre, what we'll do is we'll have people who will like, um, get plates on the car in Illinois and then live in Missouri. So they don't have to pay the personal property tax stuff. It is crazy. It's stupid. Get up there, get up there. All right, let's see if we can run this back to the left. This counterplay works well with the inside zone. All right, so if they line up over here on my right, we run it to the left. They bring a safety or a linebacker outside the D end. Then we just call the inside zone and run it inside. Let's do it again and see what happens. See if they bring somebody to cover that end. No. They didn't. All right. That's fine. All right. He's up to 90 yards. Let's get some throws in here. 
I don't think we've thrown it to FG all day, so let's get him involved in the game because I, I really wanted to get him a thousand yards, but we're not going to do it at this rate. Let's get out of the pocket. Throw it over the middle. And that bad boy is going to the house. <laughs> I wanted to throw to the tight end, but they had him locked down, so I just had to wait for that square. I had to wait for square to get open. So on this particular play, let me show you what I look at. This is my main receiver right here. Right? He's going to go out here and do this out. And he was in a box. There was no way that was going to go there. All right? And normally my second read would be this guy who I put on a slant. And he's covered. But I also pay attention to this guy. So if they play off him like this, but there's no safety help in here, then that's my I know to throw that pass. Because he's going to run up here, and then he's going to cut inside, and he's going to be wide open. But he wasn't in this case. And so I'm running for my life, and I'm just waiting for him to clear that mess over the middle, and that's when I threw it. Love that play. I abused the shit out of it, mostly to get the tight end his yards on those games when you have a tight end um, coming in for a visit and you need to get 100 yards. Because there's another one where that tight end, the inside tight end that will run the out, he'll run a slant the other direction, so you don't always know which way he's going. And then the outside tight end will run the out. So if you have two good tight ends, that play is awesome because you can't pick and choose. I mean, it's you can only do one of them. You're not going to get both of them. So... Get him. Almost got there. Almost got there. All right, let's just play man two under. See what happens. They just haven't done a damn thing on offense. They're not even running the ball. They're throwing every damn play. Got him, got him again. Yeah, there we go. Man, that Chris Cohen is fast. Once he beats his man... He just throws him to the ground. Watch this. He gets stocked up. 68's not helping. And once he gets around, he's at closing speed, man. That looked like Madden blocking, didn't it? Guards just standing there blocking air. Oh, nice throw. And Pierre. Came up and stepped into him and kept him short. Good job, Pierre. All right. We got to know they're going to fake this. We're at 28 fakes. Let's see if we get a 29. Do I hear 29, 29, 29? Nope. Face mask. Come on, call that. There we go. There we go. Oh, man. Yeah, teleporting. Have you seen the DBs that teleport five yards ahead and do the Superman interceptions, too? <clears throat> ah. I stayed inside a little too much. If I get outside a little more, I might be able to get away from him. That's right. Let's see if we can get this blocked. Yeah, they do that even in this game, Spectre. They, they cover two guys all the time. That should have been another face mask. I'll take that. Gets him over 100 yards. Fullback missed, missed 50, but that's okay. I got away from him, but that should be a face mask right there. All right, let's give this running back a little bit of a break. All 
All right, there's nobody out there. This should be a good play. Should. Get out there, Rocky. Get that block. I threw it too early. If I keep running, he doesn't tackle the quarterback. That's all right. We'll take that. Just do straight up inside zone here. Man, once I heard the, uh, that, that offensive lineman describing how inside zone works on the NFL game, it's just changed my running attack in NCAA, man. If you have as many offensive blockers as they have defenders in the box, it's the best. It's the best. If they outnumber you, then they're going to get through a gap, and then it becomes a, an issue. Yeah, this guy has... Good speed, but he has no excel. All right, so let's throw this tight end pass to the other way. So remember, I told you the inside tight end usually does the out, and the outside does the slant. So this way, he's going to go the opposite way. There you go, FG. First catch. I had to throw that fast because he was running right into two linebackers. Oh, how do we want to run this? Let's do it this way. Oh, he couldn't break the tackle on that one guy. All pro or all Madden? Spectre, I would start with all pro. And then if it becomes too easy, go to um, all Madden. Don't start on all Madden. I would, I would go with the one that's going to make you break your controller less <laughs> and rage quit less um, because it's going to be it's going to be one or the other. It's either going to be too easy or too hard. There's really no middle ground. Do you, do you want to enjoy playing the game or do you want to be pissed off all the time? <laughs> that's your choice. Once I When I uh, start streaming Madden and actually do gameplay, I'll be on all pro. I'm not playing all Madden. Fuck that. We'll make the we'll make the sliders hard for all pro, but I'm I'm. Uh, I mean, we we play in the hardest level for NCAA, but that's because you can actually make it difficult with sliders, and it doesn't cheat all the time. Yeah, Mr. Hurricane when he does his sim franchises where he just watches the game, he does all pro with uh, standard. Um, with with standard the normal sliders, um, he's gonna he's gonna do Minnesota for his sim this year, and he's gonna do the uh, Titans for uh, for uh, he's gonna do the Titans for his actual gameplay. Um, he hasn't done gameplay since his Broncos series, so he's gonna play that on all Madden with with sliders. Uh, you're gonna be better off waiting for somebody on Operation Sports to come out with sliders for both all Pro and all all Madden. Let somebody else suffer through all of the uh, the headaches. Nice throw. And then go from there. The biggest thing is going to be your XP sliders, too. you got to get those right so that guys develop, but they don't. you don't have 10 running backs that are 99 overall. That's, that's really tricky because the real players in the database are all um, pushed up higher, especially the young guys that are good. Than, than you will find um, in players from draft classes. So you you got to play into the future and get more of those real players retired and then push up your sliders to help the, the uh, auto-generated draft classes progress. Otherwise, you'll, you'll have like three guys in the 80s um, on the offensive line and everything else is in the 70s and stuff, so... I don't know what the hell that throw was, but it was not good. Bring some heat and see if we can get to him again. Oh, he's going to call a screen. All right. Let's get this safety up here. Got him. <laughs> Cohen with another sack. That's at least three. Four sacks in this game. Oh, this was rolling. Look at this guy. That was a jailbreak. Surprised that wasn't a shared sack. Hey, let's go punt block. Oh, 
Let's keep these guys in and make them block. See if we can get a decent return. That's not bad. I'll take 19 yards. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to sim out this game because um, the uh, CPU will uh, put up points on me otherwise. But we're going to we're going to do a lot more running. I got to see what our pass yards are. If I can get him to 300, then we'll quit throwing. So let's find out what we are. Circle should be open over there by the 40. Oh, he undercut it. Damn linebacker. All right. See how aggressive they want to be? Make it look like we're doing that inside zone run. Oh, what a pancake. 66 with a huge block. There we go. Now we're over 300, so we can just run... Run, run, run. Rocky with a convoy to the end zone. <laughs> he had four guys in front of him, man. Holy shit. Top time. That's right. Oh, man. I probably should have streamed a couple of times since the last one I did, but it's no good streaming when you're... Uh... Look at that. They have 63 total yards on 31 plays. What the fuck? It's it's no it's no fun streaming when you're not feeling it, man. When you're not in the mood, you're just gonna be crabbing at everything. So I was trying to get the linebacker to switch off. Wow. He has 100 yards passing, but they only have 70 yards of offense. So we have like minus 30 yards rushing for the quarterback on the sacks. They're not even trying to run. There's a run. Go down. Go down. Kind of had a feeling that we're going to run on that, but I didn't want to call my uh, run defense and then have them beat me deep. Oh, just a little bit late trying to break that up. He's 8 for 20. Why is my controller low? Hold on. Why is my controller low? Been plugged in all night. Jimmy, welcome in, Jimmy. Thank you for the resub. Welcome in, welcome in. We're putting it to the Aggies here. Hope my cord's not fucking up again. I hate having to uh, replace the cord every six months. All right, we're off to the fourth, guys. In our last two games and three quarters, we've allowed ten points. We allowed. We beat TCU sixty-three to ten. Beat Rutgers forty-eight nothing, and we're up fifty-six nothing right now. So, 
see if we can get the job done here. Need another sack or a pick. Strip sack, fumble. Jimmy, you got a fumble recovery earlier. Yeah, and they're not coming back. It's just a matter of they're going to score. Sticky fingers, yeah. You're playing really good as a linebacker, man. You're going to have revamp. See that guy on the on the right side, on the, the linebacker lined up over the end? Over the tackle, I mean. That's going to be revamp next year. So you're going to be in middle, and revamp's going to be on your left in that rush position. Remember, we, we found him... Uh, we found him as a good pass rushing um, linebacker, and so he's going to fill that spot really good. And they didn't get it. Exactly. And you got Pierre Jefferson in the secondary. Specta is uh, second string on end, so he should be up there next year. About ready to put two clock on though. Shorten this game up a little bit. So we still have to play South Carolina and Alabama. Still right now. All right. See how that guy lines up on the outside of the, the end. We switch this to an inside zone instead. And they just blew that play up from the start. Okay. When they blitz the run and won't let me run the ball, they want me to throw the ball, then we have no mercy on these bastards. So we're trying to chew clock here and get this game done because it's well at hand. <clears throat> game one against the Packers. Is that for your Bears one? Oh, I thought he was going to break that tackle and go all the way through and then get tripped. <laughs> yeah, I was messing with uh, Arizona, playing with them. And uh, James Conner is really, he's a power back, man. He's, he's fun to, I got rid of their air raid stuff and I made him a vertical power run offense and... Uh, they have a lot of power blocking offensive linemen, so uh, they do really good at pounding the rock, even though they're, you would think they're set up specifically for uh, air raid. <laughs> he just ran right in. I'm pushing to the right to get him outside, and he just ran straight into the back of the dude. See if we can hit FG over here by the flag. Didn't get the first down. That's all right. We'll go for it. We'll just run this bad boy up the middle. And that way, if we don't get it, they got to go 95 yards. Even better. Got the first down, and you got stopped. So now we uh, chew more time off the clock. Let's see if we can get our fullback a touchdown here. Nope, that's all right. That'll burn another 30 seconds off the clock.
<laughs> Rocky got stuck. That's all right. That's all right. We don't score here. We'll kick the field goal and end the game. There we go. It's going to be 63 to nothing, boys, unless they run this kickoff back. Wow, that was totally unexpected. Did not expect us to do this to uh, A&M. Back to back, yeah. Go from having zero. <laughs> zero in 26 years and then go back to back. <laughs> Should take a week off all the time, right? Now FG won't have to feel so bad about being the only team. They're going to get the ball off? Nope. Game over, boys. Game over. All right. Wow. So in the last three games, we've won 63 10, 48 0, 63 0. <laughs> 174 to 10. And it's uh, over 200 points to 27 on the season. This is ridiculous. This is year two. This isn't year four or five. <clears throat> Let me look at my depth. We are uh, an 88 offense and a 95 defense. Here, while that goes through there, you can look at this. So, you know, we don't even have great backups at running back yet. We get, we're very young at wide receiver. We only have one guy in the 90s on the offensive line. We're losing a bunch of guys on defense. Look at all the guys we're losing on defense. <laughs> All right, 19 of 24, 340, three touchdowns, no picks, no sacks. 150 for Larson, two touchdowns. Barrett had two. Rocky Top had one. And he had a, uh, one on 103 through the air. So we, we, uh, it was a one man show for Larson. Roland had four TFLs, four sacks. He had seven sacks in the game, one pick. What a game. It was, uh, Completely unexpected, especially being uh, not very active for the past week. So, considering moving to Jared's Black Sliders next year, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I knew. That's why I said we were going to Arkansas. I wasn't going to put that up for a vote. We were going to Arkansas because they were too good to be firing their coach. That's why we only want to deal with them for uh, four years because we're already doing this in year two. <laughs> How boring is it going to be in years three and four? Oh, let me look at this. So, it's three. If we go 10 and 0 in this season, if we win our first 10 games. We've already got four, so we got six more wins. So one, two, three, four. So when we play Mississippi State, if we beat Mississippi State, we will... What's up, Kelly? Thank you for the follow, man. If we beat... One second. Let me... I'll answer your question one sec. If we beat Mississippi State, we'll uh, break our own record of 75 straight wins. And if we get to year four and win our first six games without losing any... We'll be at 100 in a row. So to your question, Kelly, how do I get the revamp in CAA? Uh, first of all, you have to have a either a physical copy of the game or the digital version of the game, um, whether that's on Xbox, PlayStation, or PC. You have to have one or the other. 
um, what console are you are you playing with? Because if you play on PC, you have to have just a really good computer to play it. It's a it's a resource hog, man. <clears throat> Let me get this visit. Great man against Ole Miss. Let's scout these guys real quick. There we go. Look, he went up nine from a 66 to a 75. Let's go look and see what we have. All right, Josh Anderson is the uh, quarterback we want. Yeah, it's an upgrade of NCAA, so you have to have uh, a physical copy. So Xbox, you have to actually send your box off and have it modded. I'm on PS3, so I can do it myself. So basically, you jailbreak the, the game, and then uh, you you put some extra programs on your, your console, and then you download the game onto the hard drive, and then you upload the, the revamp modded files, and then it, it plays it like this. But Xbox, you're going to have to have your box modded. <clears throat> Xbox is the hardest one to get it on. All right, this is the quarterback we're looking to bring in. 79 speed with 90 throw power and 82 throw accuracy. His elusiveness is only a 55, so he's not going to be a really good shifty runner. He's just going to be a thrower, but that's okay. And we're also after this dude who has 88 throw power. He has 89 accuracy. A little more elusive, not quite as, as fast. Um... Here, give me a second. I'm going to throw something in chat for you. All you got to do is... All you have to do is uh, Google College Football Revamped, but I'm going to give you the, the link to their, their site here. They also have a Discord, so you can go on there and ask questions. All right, what is Massey? I think Massey is a running back. 94 speed, 87 elusive, 84 stiff. Yeah, this guy's a running back that we want. You can play wide receiver, but we want him as a running back. 91 agility, 91 stamina. How tall is this guy? He's a Juco, so he's only got two years. That's okay. We only need him for two years. We won't have to redshirt him. <laughs> All right, first there, this is another wide receiver about to finish him off. So let's peel 100 off of him. Give it to this guy. First there, first there, second there. Let's uh, give him a little boost and take 50 off and just offer him because we're never going to get to number one. And that way we don't forget to offer him. First offer him see if we can get Reggie Butler oh. tackle outside linebacker another outside corner 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 strong safety this guy's a 73 percenter Throw this guy up on the list so I don't forget about him. Um, it's another outside strong safety. We're number one. Outside, we're number one. How many linebackers do we need? We need two outside linebackers. So what do we have? We have a 69 and a... All right, so let me offer these two guys and see if we can get one of them. At least offer this guy. We'll offer the strong safety. And there. 75 center. Let's push him up the board.
we'll wait on this guy and see what happens on our visit, but we might be better off to just throw the points on this guy because we're only 25 behind. In fact, 83, 82, 79, 79, 91 Excel, 84 Excel. You know what? Fuck this guy. I don't want to mess around with him. I'm just going to be putting points in on him every damn week, and he's never going to move the needle. Okay. 200 points we can spend on somebody. Seventy-five percent, seventy-five percent. There's another running back, another guard, D end, D end, outside. Don't need Tyrone. Let's look at let's scout these guys up and get done scouting these guys. There's a seventy-four. Sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. Who else needs to be offered? Yeah, he's a 66. I don't need this guy. We got plenty of other guys. I don't need a 66 committing. Alright. We'll just throw 50 points on some random dude. Let's give it to our quarterback. Let me go put my points on my coach before I forget. It's the OC, right? Look, we're rocking a level 27 defensive coordinator. This is why we're so good on defense, because we're maxed out on our DC. But our OC is only level 3. <clears throat> yeah, a bunch of 69 guys on there. All right, so we go to South Carolina and go to Alabama. Our problem is we're probably not going to go to number one because we're just li literally beating the shit out of everybody. So, <clears throat> And to set this up so that we can have six more schools that we go to with five years at each one, we, we have to stay here for four years. So even if we're just literally dominating the SEC, um, we're going to stay here for two more years after this. Some of you guys haven't even played yet. Revamp hasn't even played yet. So I want to get him in there and let him play two years as a starter. Um, and we need to set up Arkansas to be really good going forward. So I really want to go back to Texas Tech before I'm done. I mean, it'd be very nice if those last five years were at Texas Tech. And we're not even going to start looking at schools to go to until we get to year four. And we can see who's on the bubble, who's uh, on the hot seat. Just remember, anybody that's on a hot seat is getting fired. All right, we got a 78 wide receiver. It's our first commit. Let's get these visits out of the way. And that was the athlete. Yeah, that was the athlete that committed. This Ole Miss, that'll be the first uh, game of the next stream. We're only going to play three today. Right, let's bump him up to 400. We only, yeah, we do need two quarterbacks. So I'm going to go ahead and give this guy 400 points because we do need two. Glad I looked at my, my thing here. We need both these guys. This is a running back. He's a backup. This is the other wide receiver. Get him up to 400. We need one tackle, one guard, one center. Remember, we just put points on this guy this past week. And he signs. See? Don't keep putting points in the guy's that are a losing cause. We, we we gave him the points. We got rid of the guy, gave him points. One week later, we offered, he's done. 
Quit chasing your tail, guys. They recruit smarter, not harder. All right, so. Danny Pollard, he's up. Reggie Butler, he's going up. D tackle. We're going to get all these guys to 400. Eventually, we're going to move them all to 500. Now we can offer this guy. And we'll give him 300. Smith is still number one. They had their visit. They had a 2,200 point visit, and they're still 355 behind. Wisconsin's coming up on him. So we're going to take all those points away and give them to him. Who else can I take points away from? This guy. I don't want to lose this corner. <clears throat> Alright, so he's one. He's a 50... 35%. Here's another linebacker. So, we're still looking at two, right? So let's drop him to 250 and offer the other guy, because I don't care which one I get. I just need one of these guys, right? And then I can use those points on someone else. There we go. All right. Only need one more. Just throw all these points on McDaniel. You want the higher overall now. All right, 69, 69. Move these guys further out so I can see what I'm working with. I don't need this tight end right now. He's a 74. Al has jumped into the race. What is my other? I'll move him up here and look at these two guys. All right. So we're not going to get this guy, but I'll leave him on here just for shits and grins. Maybe we go back to him later. Who's this guy? He's seven speed. He's another quarterback. Chauncey, I don't need you. Goodbye. Let him go somewhere else. A 269 DNs, a 78. All right, this guy just jumped off the board as a 73%. See all those green arrows? That's a 73% lock guy right there. And we're early in the season. So Reggie Butler's points is going in to Justin Robinson because now we're going to have 635 points. So in about six weeks, we'll be number one. <clears throat> Make it a little higher. All right, strong safety corner. The end. Side. Tell you what. We're going to throw points on there so they'll quit gaining ground on us. All right. Well, that's nice. Got a wide receiver, an outside linebacker, and a center. Let's save this and get into this game. So we finally got, finally got uh, some guys. We need 18 guys. So the quicker we can get guys done, the better off we're going to be. In fact, I'm going to make one change here as soon as this gets done saving. We're going to go back to the quarterback. And I'm going to take the points that we put on the uh, second quarterback and throw it all on the first one so we can get one of these guys done quicker. <clears throat> I, want to get the, I want to get one of them done right away so we at least get one. We don't get hosed and get into a recruiting battle with both these guys. I'll we'll give him 100 points and then we're good to go. All right, we stayed number two. Look at the polls. So number one is Army. <laughs> Five picks. Wow. We play Army later? I think we do, don't we? Yeah, we play Army near the end of the season. So we should be able to knock them out of the uh, 
championship race here. It's Oregon, our old school lost. Old school Texas Tech. Iowa's 4-1. It's our last three schools that we've been at. All right. Texas Tech was the first one, actually. All right. Rocky's at 1333. 378. We need to do some more running. All right. Let's go play this game. All right. South Carolina has a bunch of uniforms, so let's see what we can do with these guys. We might go all black just because we're white and red. FG, thanks for the sub, man. Appreciate it. Welcome in. <laughs> you guys are not uh, following FG. Guys over on uh, YouTube, it's Franchise Guy. What do we want to go with? Franchise Gaming, right? It's not Franchise Guy. It's Franchise Gaming, right? Or is it FG over there? I don't want to go red because we're wearing red. Franchise gaming, yeah. Don't want to get you mixed up with somebody else. And tell somebody to go to a different place. All right, we're gonna go with this. Was a guy a while ago. What do we have as options here? Can we do anything that's? I don't like the aftersight. We can go with the gray. It's not my favorite, but at least it's something other than white. Let's, you know, let's just wear the gray. Franchise guy got too big and he changed. Yeah, well, I can understand. Hey, did you see what we did while this lows? Did you see what we did last stream? Look at that third game. Don't feel bad because we just beat Texas A&M 63 to nothing. <laughs> it wasn't even close. We're only in year two, man. Only in year two. This, this is going to be ridiculous when I get the uh, offense caught up to the uh, defense because we have a level three offensive coordinator and a level 27 defensive coordinator. So we're, so we're at... Uh, 88 on the offense and 95 on the defense. This is a nice big stadium too. These guys have a bunch of uniforms you can choose from. They were on the list to go to along with Arkansas. But they uh, they weren't quite as good as Arkansas. Hey, Specta, I'm almost done with the uh, year three of the boys. What's up, T. Clink? Welcome in, man. Here, we got to shout you out too, man. Got all the boys in here. Yeah, man, we haven't uh, we haven't streamed in a week, over a week. So uh, I had my, uh, my fill of Madden for the moment and decided we need to get back to NCAA and play some games. T. Clink, I... Uh, I was able to secure a PS5 for normal price yesterday. So. <clears throat> Ankle's doing well. It's still tight because they tightened up the, the ligament and tendon and stuff. So it's it still feels tight. Um, expect to there on season three still. Um, but uh, I don't have the pain. I don't have as much popping when I walk. Or when I push off when I'm doing the exercises and stuff, so it uh, it's it's gotten much better in the past week and a half. What's up, Raiden? How you doing, man? Oops. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I'm walking normally. Um, it uh, it feels way better. Um, yeah. Yes, five league for Madden. Yeah, no, I haven't played gameplay play of Madden since Madden twenty. Come on, go down. He should not be pushing defensive linemen like that. So yeah, you won't you won't see me in a Madden league at all. Uh, 
I didn't even really want to play in the NWO, but I was like, oh, I'll play with the buddies. Come on. <laughs> he almost broke three tackles. All right, I want to know what Ben Robinson is before I get pissed off. He's their backup. 84 speed, 91 excel, 85 break tackle. He's got 91 spin and 90 juke. This guy is not fast, but he's got all the moves. Wow. You want to see what difficulty I'm playing at? Here, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm on Heisman and I'm on uh, modified J kit sliders. See, Heisman. These are my, these are my uh, sliders for me, and this is the. Uh, actually, I'm I'm not even on J Kids sliders. They're pretty much default, except for accuracy, running back ability, and picks. I always put picks at 35, no matter what, for both teams. They don't need help with accuracy throwing, and they don't need help with running back ability because they just run through you all the time. So no point giving them an extra bonus that's just going to make you throw your controller. Yep. Plus, they shouldn't be going 13 for 13 passing ever, so... Look at this backfield. He tried to shove my linebacker off and the defensive end said, sit the fuck down. That's a dude right there that had a really monster game himself. It is, sit down. I'm telling you guys, this 3-4 over defense swarms to the ball, man. They just... They just attack. And if you get the right guys... I can't wait to see how many sacks Revamp gets next year at the outside linebacker with the pass rushing ability he has. <laughs> that guy almost got to the ball without my help. All right, we don't have any of our uh, running back ability loosened up. Our, our ankles are not loose yet, so we, we need to uh, get that established first. Quarterbacks do not have that problem, so you can run with them to start the game with impunity. The running backs, running backs on this set, you got to there you get five carries. The quarterbacks need five completions, and then we're good to go the rest of the game. Snap the fucking ball. I'm spamming X. Thank you for bumping me forward for the first down. You gonna press? Bad choice. Especially when you roll the safety over there. Let's look at this play. Where was the coverage breakdown, guys? Where was the coverage? I was looking at circle, and I saw that guy covering circle, and then I looked at square. And let me let me get off of here. Just watch the play. Watch over here on the left. He comes on a blitz, and the, and the safety comes in. Look at this. Look at this. He goes on a corner blitz, and the safety runs to the middle of the field, and he is wide open for 50 yards. Now, I'm looking at this, and when I see him cover him, and I look over here, I, I almost choked because I... <laughs> wow. That was two blown coverage. That was ridiculous. 
I've never seen a guy that wide open for that long. I wasn't even supposed to go to him. Okay. <laughs> Arkansas looks so weird with those gray pants. <laughs> I'm going to play cover two. Let's see what happens here. And we're going to press. Told you they attacked the ball. Yeah. <laughs> FG, I just showed my sliders. I can't help it if they don't want to cover the guy. I mean, he was wide open from the line of scrimmage. Jimmy says, no, you're not going to break two tackles in the backfield. Sit the fuck down. <laughs> this guy Kennedy over here on the far side right there that's going to be revamped next year pick it oh well, that was a linebacker it wasn't a safety or a corner so I'll take the deflection that works that's fine I was I was not expecting to hit a bomb on that play. I just wanted to move the ball down the field, get my quarterback warmed up. Kind of shocked he actually completed the pass because, ah, that was his first pass of the game. Ah, I saw that guy hanging out there. I wasn't expecting the middle linebacker to make the loop around and mess it up. I love this play too. This is such a good play. Tight end should be wide open, square. There you go, FG. There you go. Just enough speed to stay ahead of the linebacker and pick that ball up. Larson's picking his way through. We do have a running back that's uh, a freshman that's being redshirted. So if anybody wants a running back, we have a running back. We're also picking up another one. Get out of here. Throw it away. Thank you. I was trying to hit either one of those curls on the outside, but they had him on lockdown. So I was like, let's run away. And they're like, no, you're not running away. So Whatever. Just pound this up the middle. <clears throat> he does not have enough carries yet to be. He has no burst. So let's help him out. Guy shut down my lane. Even though I had the block there, he just ran me out of bounds. That's okay. Let's try this slant the other way. Bad Moon says, thank you. We'll just move the chains. Oh, what a hit. And he held on. Kyle Love taking some abuse. Gets the job done. I love that. <clears throat> Damn. I don't know why the linebackers are faster than the running backs in this game. They don't know where we're going. Yet they can get to the spot before we can. <clears throat> yeah, 
like that. And he's hurt. I need to go back to my first VOD and see uh, when TCU scored their last score. Whether it was a field goal or a touchdown, I don't remember you know, how many quarters we were at with the goose egg here. <laughs> All right, Alabama's up after this game, so we know that game's always sweaty no matter what. Doesn't matter what their overall is, they always give us trouble. Right. See how long these guys want to stay in the option. Alabama, yeah. This guy, I can't get him on the ground. <laughs> Let's go cover two and press. God damn, this guy. <coughs> What's up, Dabs? How you doing, man? Give you a shout out, too. Welcome in, welcome in. Saw you doing uh, Madden the other day. I didn't get to jump in and watch the stream. I was preoccupied in another stream, but I did see you on. Some days it's really easy to go visit, and other days... Everybody's on, man. There we go. Another sack. All right. This is where we go to our standard option play. Let's get this safety down here. You can't run the option on this defense. You cannot run the option on this defense. <clears throat> uh, it's going well. We just shut out Texas A&M 63 to nothing after we shut out Rutgers last stream 48 nothing. So we're on a we're on a streak of not allowing points at all. So doing pretty good. I hadn't streamed for a week, and so I was like, I, I need to get back in here and do something. And uh, ankles doing really well too. I get my first. Uh, Reffing assignment of the season. <laughs> he got sacked on a screen pass. First of the reffing assignment of the season coming up on Monday. I can't believe it's already here. Yeah, I don't trust these guys. There you go, Smith. <clears throat> here guys do you guys remember seeing my ankle uh, when I first had the uh, surgery that scar is uh, looking pretty good man <clears throat> yep 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 It's still a little numb on the outside of the ankle and the foot, and they said it would take uh, three or four months for the uh, that feeling to come back. So um, it feels weird when you touch it. It's kind of like you feel you feel it, but you don't 100%. Sometimes it'll shoot little shock waves <laughs> up into my toes or up the side of the foot. It's really kind of funny, but uh, it's normal. Those, it takes a while for those nerves to come back. Just get the first down, Larson. There you go. Nick Saban got an eight-year deal. Is he going to coach till he's 100? 
I was hoping he'd retire sometime soon so Alabama can go back to being normal. Let's see if they cover square on this one. No, nope, they're going to cover everybody, but Rocky's going to run it up the field and get the first down. Dude might die on the field. He's going to he's going to going to coach until he can't anymore. I really want to throw this to square, but if that DB drifts to the outside, we can't throw it. Yep. Get out of here. Oh, Rocky with the spinorama, and we fumbled, but got it back. Wow. <laughs> Rocky's out here acting like he's fucking Nuryev with his ballet moves. I'm going to run some more. Get that block. There you go. Trying to get Rocky killed here in the first half. <clears throat> Only 14 nothing, so it's not like we're totally dominating the shit out of these guys. Yeah, first down. Here we go. Take that. Now we're going to throw slants. I'm going to make a mistake here and throw an interception or we're going to get the touchdown. Because they think we're going to run. But we're going to throw slant. I don't know why it takes me all the way back there. But... <clears throat> Thank you, FG. Appreciate that, man. And I said, I'm either going to throw a pick or a touchdown. I should have not thrown that ball. All right, they're going to run the option, and we're going to bring down, and we're going to stop it. Safety slowed him up and Jimmy took him down. <clears throat> You're going to run to the left. Oh, you ran a counterplay. All right, all right, all right. I see you. I see you. Stealing my counterplays. Third and two. Just going to run another one. Oh, we had him in the backfield. That was bullshit. I read the play. I got in there and hit him, and he broke the tackle. Chiropractor appointment? Yeah, I, I used to go to a chiropractor until he uh, ruptured a disc in my back. <laughs> it was it was already bulging, and and he he ruptured it the rest of the way. I had to have uh, surgery to fusion for my uh, L five six. Anyway, um, Jesus. What I miss is getting my neck adjusted. And sometimes one leg gets longer than the other. Your pelvis gets tilted. And so I always enjoyed when they uh, yank your leg and pop your hip and uh, even those out. This guy is pushing us down. I'm so tired of this guy. All right.
They want me to run 46. We're going to run 46. Trying to beat my shutout streak. There we go. Got the sack. Huge, huge, huge. That particular play puts the defensive ends on contain automatically so you don't have to do it. <clears throat> Third and nine. Nice throw. Oh, and he dropped it. Wow. This dude's 0 for 3 passing. All they want to do is run the ball. This feels like a fake to me on the 39, guys. Feels like a fake. Will we get to 29 fakes? No. They're going to punt it. And he angles it out of bounds. Nice kick. On the 14. All right. Got a minute five. I'm going to stay in that same formation because now we're going to run the uh, Durham. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to call a timeout because I want to get out of that formation, but I don't want to run off time. I want to make sure everybody's nice and healthy here. I'm going to call this play right here. This run and shoot, run and shoot, switch, dig. Circle square. If they want to give me X. Oh, and he dropped it. He was wide open, too. That was a first down. All right, all right, all right. Take the first down. Clock's going to stop. And we can call a pass play out of this formation. Oh, bad moon. Damn. All right, FG, I'm going to try and hit you on this play over here towards the sideline. And you're covered. So let's just run. Out of bounds. Get the first down. Save those two timeouts. Should be 21 nothing. I pissed that one drive away throwing the ball. Not going to do that again. Going to call the same exact play. All right, FG. You should be open this time. We'll see. Although Square might be the guy to go to. Nope. FG. How did he pick that ball? How did he pick that ball? How did he pick that ball? He's covering the guy in the flat. I'm throwing it over his head. And the dude jumps three feet in the air. Okay. All right. Now remember, this guy hasn't completed an hour on. Now we're on. 
Now I'm on lag because I went to the uh, replay too many times. Hold on. All right, let's see if that works. Nope, we're on. We are stuck on lag. We are in lag mode for the rest of this game. All right, well, should be able to see uh, all of our running and passing lanes. And we're going to spy this QB. They only have one timeout. <laughs> That's normal speed. I might not make that play. I'm going to stay with this spy. Get him, Jimmy. Flag. That better be a block in the back. Half is over. Yeah. We'll, we'll decline it because we're done with the half. All right. So we're at least at two and a half games. I'm going to have to go back to the TCU game and see when they scored last. Poor blocking. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to grind this out on the game <clears throat> on the ground and get it to a three score game and then we'll throw again. Jesus. He pushed me so far the safety had time to run up. All right, that's fine. We're going to do this again. Come on. <clears throat> hold your block please hold your block alright I'll take that I could have shed that and stayed running straight instead of doing that little sidestep we would have uh, we would have got way more yards off of that All right, so we have five guys in the box, our five guys. We should be able to hold our blocks, get the first down. Here we go. All right, so the lag, just so you guys know, if you're not, the lag is not on the stream. It's in the game because of the, uh, because of the uh, visiting the instant replay too much. All right, FG, I'm going to try and hit you again out here, although we may go to a bad moon. Yeah, we're going to bad moon. All right, let's try it again. <clears throat> nope. Don't fumble. Thank you. Take our five yards.
They just don't want me to throw the ball to you today, man. You're just out of luck. At least I got away. Threw that away. Didn't take the sack. All right, third and five. We're going screen pass here. They're trying to pressure the shit out of me, so we're going screen. <clears throat> Comes the safeties. And he got hung up on my offensive lineman. Floaty dot. That was a little floaty dot. I wasn't going to be able to get out there and throw it to the running back, so we just uh, tossed it, tossed it up, and let him run to the ball. <clears throat> See if we can get a wide receiver rushing touchdown here. Nope. They were going to shut that down. If I pitch that ball, we're going to lose yards. So we'll just take our no yards. Man, this lag is driving me insane right now. And it randomly subs in the backup when I'm not expecting it. <laughs> Rogers, 471, five TDs, six picks. That sounds like Madden. So many touchdowns and so many picks. The picks have got to be fixed. There's just nobody throws that many interceptions. Not everybody is Jameis Winston, right? The DBs play better wide receiver than your wide receivers. All right, three-score game, so now we don't have to worry about them scoring and then getting a turnover and coming down and tying it. they got to do it three times. I will throw the ball a little more because I want to get our pass yards up. I audibled to the uh, run defense against the option because I thought they were going to run option off there, and he audibled out to a pass play. <clears throat> we'll play this one straight up and see what happens. He missed him, but Jimmy got it. There you go, Jimmy. I was trying to bring that safety down and hit him, but uh, I whiffed, and... Jimmy did his job. We're blitzing again because these guys are going to run for this. There we go. <laughs> Let's see if they punt here or they go for it. All right, are we getting 29 fakes? 29 fakes. Anybody got 29? Nope. <laughs> Just glad he didn't fumble the ball. Yeah, we're at 28, FG. 28 for now. I was looking for the 29th. All right, I'm going to try and hit you with this one. Because they want to cover that outside, so we're going to send you on a slant instead. Down. 
There we go. Hold that block. Get up the sidelines. Just needs more, more speed. Need better wheels. Oh, come on. That was way out in front of him. I'm looking up the field for the throw, and he does this shoestring tackle. <clears throat> oh! Tried to do the step back. He didn't do anything, but he ended up pushing me forward. All right, we'll take that. I'm going to get Rocky his 300. Oh. I was looking at the uh, safety up there instead of the defensive end. Read the wrong guy. This goddamn Barrett, dude. I hate this guy. Can't wait to get him off the team. <clears throat> Looking for the two uh, slot guys, X and Triangle. away from those guys blitzing on the end that that option play was not going to work <clears throat> all right let's hit this texas route for uh revamp there we go touchdown boom <laughs> all right There are certain numbers on Twitch that I just don't understand. FG knows what I'm talking about. All right, we're off to the fourth. It's at least 11 straight, maybe more. I got to go back to that TCU game, man. couldn't get underneath him nice throw i switched to him but i couldn't get him underneath to try and pick it off
There we go. Knock it out of his hands. Good job, Pierre. Guys, less than 100 yards passing. We're in the fourth quarter. Calling cover two, but we're pressing. This looks like a run. Got him. Sit down. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's got two sacks this game. You got two halfbacks and a fullback in. They cannot run the ball here. They have to throw the ball. Oh. Almost messed that play up trying to undercut. All right, it's fourth and 17. You going to punt or you going to go for it? We don't trust him. All right, here we go. They have 90 total yards. We're going to resist the urge to go deep on these guys. <laughs> I want to I want to go over the top so bad, especially after that first play that went 58 yards. <laughs> We're going to shorten this game mostly because I'm tired of the lag. It's it's driving me crazy. Let's do this halfback blast. I want to get back to normal game speed. Fucking fullback ran straight past the middle linebacker and didn't even bother to try and tackle him or block him. Look at this. He just, he ran straight by him. Caught it! He's going! What a catch! Get in the end zone! Get in there! Yes! <laughs> wow! Wow, wow, wow! Look at that! He out jumps him, gets to the inside, and beats him to the end zone! What a fucking catch and run! <laughs> Here we go. Beats the press. Gets up. I just lob it right there. Lobbed it. Take control. Get it. He gets turned around, and we had enough to get there before the linebacker got me. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Not what I was intending to do. I was going to eat some clock, but I'll take the score. Exactly, Rocky Top. Walmart's like, we want this goddamn SEC championship and Natty every damn year. <laughs> wow. I was just hoping to make a completion, not, not get the score as well. Damn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey. Not going to complain about touchdown passes. That was just not what I was expecting. Oh. And it doesn't. He has 39 yards passing. 39. Three, four over defense guys against the CPU is just, it is too much for it to handle. And this guy can't go down the field. We get too much pressure so they don't have time to look down the field. 
He's hit a few nice out routes down the field and beat coverage man-to-man. But if you've got a pass rush on these guys and just enough coverage, man, I'll tell you what. Step up. He threw it in the dirt. He bounced it. He bounced that pass. He had the lane, and the guy was coming back. There was no one going to knock the ball down. They have to go for it. They're not. They're punting again. At some point, you have to go for it. <clears throat> I don't want to fumble. I don't want to get hurt. We're just going to run. <clears throat> they definitely gave up. And we have two clock on. We're just going to run this. I don't want to throw a pick. I'll throw if I have to to get a first down. But we want to run this clock. I was trying to get back. That whole side was open. See how they want to play this counter with two tight ends. Good blocking. Got out there and hit that safety, and he held the uh, DB in place and let me get around him. Got Larson his 100 yards. <clears throat> Need one more score. Ah, go down. Hit the ground. Stay down. Jesus. I don't need him getting up and then fumbling the ball. How close does Rocky do his hundred? Eh. Twenty seven. Let's run this again. <laughs> yeah, we do, FG. <laughs> oh, I should have handed that off. That was that was I was not focused on the right guy. All right, good. Third and five. Here we go. Stop the clock. I want another touchdown. <laughs> well, yeah, we know how bad I am at defense. Get up there, FG. All right, we'll call timeout. My dog's dreaming. I don't know which one, but one of them's dreaming. There we go. Love that play. That run and shoot play that I just called, they cannot be pressed. So every all four receivers get off the line of scrimmage without a press. <clears throat> all right, 42.
That's 153 straight points at least. Somebody wants to do uh, a little research for me. Go back to my last VOD for this team and go to the TCU game and tell me when they scored their last points. <clears> hey, <throat> Chiefs, we beat Texas A&M 63-0 in last stream. The last game was 48-0 on Rutgers. We haven't given up a point since game two. This is game five. We haven't allowed a point since game two. <clears throat> Three, four under. Go to your go make a custom playbook. Go find three four over. Three four over. I'm sorry, right here. Make sure you have a pass rushing left outside linebacker. Jimmy says no. No, no, no. We're going to play safety here. This game's over, boys. That's three straight shutouts. <laughs> what in the fuck is going on? I had zero shutouts with this head coach. How, how long ago is this? Let me look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-three full seasons as a head coach, no shutouts, and we have three in a row. That was the play where they let that guy go wide open. He was wide open from the line of scrimmage. Hey, I don't play well on defense. They're, they're playing really well in this particular one, but I don't usually play well. I don't play well against humans at all. So if you want somebody that plays really good on defense, go watch Go watch uh, Revamp TV, man. That dude, he's way better at defense than I am. So let's look at these stats. All right, 17 to 23, 377, four touchdowns, two picks, one sack, 117 on the ground for Larson, 198 for Love. Had those two deep passes for touchdowns. Six, seven, eight, 10 TFLs, four sacks, no picks. This defense will get you a lot of TFLs. They do not run the ball well. Chief, we uh, we played this defense at uh, Oregon, and we allowed, was it 56 yards on the ground for an entire season? They had less than 60 yards rushing every game. Hey, look, Tennessee won. All right, let's advance this week, and we get to play Alabama. Wow, wow, wow crazy here chief check this out so all right so i was an offensive coordinator for four years took over at texas tech lost three games the first year then we won four straight went to ucf won a natty in the playoff and then we lost the natty on a hail mary to our old school then we were kind of wandering in the wilderness aimlessly at Ohio State and Texas A&M waiting for Iowa to fire their coach. Then we won five straight natties. In fact, that last year at Iowa, we averaged 63 points a game. Then Oregon, we lost to Arizona State. That stopped our win streak. And then this, this season right here, I had a stream where I gave up 73 points to Mizzou and 56 to UCLA. And we didn't. We haven't lost a game since that stream. I literally didn't stream for two weeks because I was so mad. And then we haven't lost a game since then. So, and I'm I'm just basically calling three four over. 
All we're doing, 3-4 over. And we're not playing on easy sliders. In fact, my sliders are down and theirs are at default. So we're thinking about next year, I got the strong safety. Got the 78 strong. So we're thinking about going to the uh, Jared's black sliders for next year. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's how we play the game around here, man. That's why we only stay four or five years at a school because once I get my recruits in there, it's it's pretty much it's unfair. But we want to get them boosted up so that there's a uh, there's a uh, really good team to uh, have to beat. We're just gonna pile all these games into the first game of the next stream. Get all these guys in as quick as we can. Let's look at our uh, guys here. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're going to get this quarterback next week. All right. So we're going to drop him down to 100 points so I can pour the other 600 into the other quarterback because we need two quarterbacks. <clears throat> there. This is a running back. Need the tackle, need the guard. This is a 73% guy. <clears throat> he visited, but he hasn't been offered. And we're gaining points. Uh, football, I I, uh, I do like football. But that said, um, NFL, if it wasn't for fantasy football, I wouldn't follow the NFL at all. I just don't like the extraneous garbage that goes on beyond gameplay. Um, college football, I, I stopped being a big fan of college football until I started streaming a year and a half ago, and now I kind of got back into it. So my favorite sports are baseball and hockey. Huge baseball fan, huge hockey fan. There's no better sport to watch live than hockey, especially playoff hockey. There is There is nothing better than playoff hockey. Let's give this guy a hundred. <clears throat> All right. They're still gaining on this corner. So let's give him some points. So if we lose out on newbie, we'll get McKenzie and Perkins. We don't need this strong safety because we just got the 78. So I don't want this guy committing and eating up a spot. Here's what we have so far. How good was this guy? 88 speed, 80 tackle, strong safety with 97 press. <laughs> and this guy's a wide receiver, 90 speed, 75 man, 79 zone, but he's got 78 catch, 83 route running. So he's a wide receiver. We got this uh, really good balanced center. And this guy, 81 speed outside. He's not real good at, at uh, rushing the passer. He's more of a, a run defense, a little bit of man. That's okay. These are all the guys we want. These are the two quarterbacks we're going after. This guy's got 79 speed, 90 throw power, and this guy has 68 speed, but 88 throw power, 88 accuracy. These guys are basically backups. So... <clears throat> <clears throat> Let me save this. I'm going to go to the box score for the TCU game and see when they scored last. That'll probably be the easiest one. Thank you, Raiden. That's, I know what my strength is and I enjoy doing it. I, I enjoy describing what I'm looking at on particular plays, this route, that route, what I, all the things that go into it. Um, I, I really enjoy the, uh, the, it's not, I wouldn't even say just teaching aspect. It's just, this is what I'm looking at. This is on this particular play or that play. This is what I do differently to make them think I'm doing this when I'm really doing that. I helped, uh, I helped revamp run in the red zone a lot 
Um, I don't know if you watched the game that we had a couple years ago that that crapped out at the very end, and we had to replay the game off offline, just the two of us on Discord. And he's like, I can't run the ball. And I said, all right, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to run. And this is the play you use, type of plays you need to run. This is what you need to look for. And he got to be a better uh, runner because we broke down how the plays work, why you call this. And it was just stuff I learned from other people. So, yeah, I love passing on that information, man. You know, I don't have the shtick. I don't have the hoopla and carrying on and on. And I, I get excited when stuff happens, but I would much rather, you know, show you how to recruit based off stuff I've learned from other people and learned from myself and, and how to do this. You know, one of these days, maybe I'll just do a stream and we'll go through my playbook and I'll show you all the different plays I have and how I use them and why I use them. So <clears throat> if you don't have a custom playbook, you need to get a custom playbook. Um, let's go to my schedule and go back. Cause I'm, I'm not the best player in the world by any stretch, but I, I love the X's and O's. All right. So that was one, two, three. <clears throat> All right. Right here. Let's look at game summary. TCU. When did they score? They scored right there. 33 seconds left in the third quarter. So... 13 straight quarters without allowing a, a point. Yeah, FG, they both. I mean, you open it up with the NIL for these guys to actually get paid because the, the universities are making millions of dollars on these kids. But now it's almost like the Wild West, and so they have no loyalty to the schools at all. And now it's just, you know, the shit that SMU got death penalty for in the 80s is legal now. <laughs> it's legal. There should be zero death penalty going for it. Hey, Q, thank you for the sub. Welcome in. Welcome in. Because they legalized all this shit. So, welcome in. How you doing? <clears throat> All right, Rockies in the top five passing yards. Got to get more rush yards, more pass yards. All right, let me save this. <coughs> Let's save this and we'll go play Alabama. I tell you what, Rocky, you know what I might do? I'm having a good time. We got to play this game. I, I might extend this by another hour just by going in on the... Uh, on this playbook. We'll see. Because this playbook is ridiculous in the sim. Look at Alabama. They're two and four. We dropped. We've had three straight shutouts and we dropped to number three. Hey, thanks for the sub rating. Appreciate that. Look at that. We dropped. We we have not allowed a point since since uh, our second game, since week three, and we dropped. How? How are we dropping? Well, we're going to beat Army later, so that's going to get rid of their ass. And one of those two teams is going to lose. And thank you. Appreciate that. You guys in the hype. Thank you, man. Um, all right, so they're going to be out, and either Syracuse or Clemson is going to be out. We'll take care of Vanderbilt, so it may come down to us playing Maryland. We'll see. But All right, let's get in and play Bama, and if we handle Bama pretty good, then uh, we'll do some uh, playbook. We'll do some custom playbook stuff for you guys. All right. You know, Alabama has possibly the worst uniforms, but we're not going to let them wear black shoes. 
Thank you, Spectre. Appreciate the biddies. Welcoming, guys. Thank you, thank you. They gotta wear a red and... We're gonna go white out, guys. <laughs> you guys in your hype train. Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate you guys who like uh, something that's a little more cerebral and less... Uh, Stick. <clears throat> yeah, hey, we they were just waiting for you, man. They're hyping it up because you came in, Q. <laughs> <coughs> man. All right. Who's visiting Alabama? Three-star tackle. Nobody's hurt. All right. Yeah. Nobody's hurt, so let's go. Nice, bright, sunshiny day. I do like how all the uh, SEC schools have uh, hedges around the field, around the, the stands. I do like that. <clears throat> all right. No rain, so I don't have to play the rain background stuff. But we know these guys give us a, a hard game no matter what school we're at, no matter what our overall is, all right? So we know the game is going to fuck us in this game. So just be prepared. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, looks like we're going to get the ball first. Thank you, Q. Appreciate that. Let's go against the wind. <clears throat> All right, Kevin Love, his brother, Kyle. Wow, these guys are fast. Don't be, uh, don't be snuck by their two and four record, man. <clears throat> you don't have much biddies. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And by the way, they're real oh. and they're spectacular. <laughs> All right. FG, get out there and hit that edge. All right, we'll cut it back the other way. Nice block. Let's try this. <clears throat> We're looking at X and R1. Those are the only two guys I'm looking at. Bad Moon reached... Reach behind, snags it, stays uh, on his feet, gets the first down. Love it, love it, love it. I uh, I may not be too worried about the uh, stats in this game. We might just worry about getting the dub and not worry about piling up a bunch of stuff unless we get a big lead. slants oh man here we go love boom that play i knew i had the two out guys on the slant all i did was stare in the middle of the field until i could see peripherally peripherally <laughs> which receiver broke open first when i saw a circle i threw it peripherally can't talk All right, let's, let's see if we can hit this Texas route. We do have a, a curl out here on the circle. Oh, Larson, you got to catch the ball, man. Got to catch the ball. We can't be giving away downs like this. Let's try this inside zone. We got more blockers than they have linemen, so we need to be able to Make a block, almost, 
Almost. Third and six. I hate when it does this. It like goes to the middle of your playbook in a uh, certain formation instead of going to the start. You're not getting me. You can chase me all the way up the field, but you're not catching me. Let's go. Let's go. FG, I'm trying to hit you here, man. See what happens. Square might be the other option. Fuck, this linebacker bullshit. They're running pro-style offense, too. All right, got the pressure in his face. Oh, you're making another music video? Cool. All right, which way are they going to run? Let's go, let's go. It's going to be a little bit different because they're not going to run the uh, read option and all that shit. So we got to run normal, little normal defense here. Yeah. I think our uh, shutout streak is going to end on this drive. Nice. It's always nice when you get... Uh, You get somebody else to uh, vouch for you. <clears throat> All right. Got him. Woo! Almost missed that sack. He was a little slippery. Yeah, no pressure to perform good. Hey, well, you know, that's the kind of pressure you want because you, you've got a level that you performed at, and now you got to repeat it. Let's switch this up just a bit. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. He didn't get that block on me, and we got out to the outside. All right, guys. Way to come strong on defense here. All right. No 19-yard uh, out route to the uh, tight end here. Cute, uh, day's going pretty well. <sighs> Hadn't streamed in a week, and I felt the uh, need to, uh, to do uh, NCAA. Hey, well, I'll take that. That was a terrible throw. PT, they're uh, giving me a little harder things to do now. Like the steps that I had to do, they uh, they added resistance bands, so it's it's a little more uh, difficult. And um, it's uh, now we're uh, we got rid of some of the pain on the inside, so now we're working on uh, building up the strength because it's a little uh, it's a little weak. Um, so I'm hoping to. Uh, Next time we get to the, uh, next time we get to uh, my, uh, I have a doctor's appointment on the 20th to see my orthopedics. So I'm hoping by then we can just get rid of PT altogether and be done. I feel the need to test these guys. Oh, what a tackle. Jesus. Yeah, me too. It's uh, I'm walking normal. I have no problem walking. The, the popping in the ankle has uh, gone down some as well. Um, so 
you know, get rid of the pain, then I can get better quicker. Where was that throw? He threw it between both receivers. He had two guys open and he threw it right between them. It's just going to be one of those games. I told you guys. I'll catch the fucking ball. Something I don't normally do a whole lot of. Go down. Should have kicked that high instead of low. I was trying to angle it and bounce it, and I missed my angle, so it went right to him. Stay on your feet. Go, 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 go. Yes, 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 yes. What a snag. What a snag. Wow. We snuck Bama. About time. Don't fumble. They're going to be hit sticking us the entire game now. <sighs> I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. This is not an easy game, regardless of their overall. There you go. Get the first down. It's going to be a grinded out game. <clears throat> All right, these are the type of runs I was talking to Revamp about. These inside zones, the way they block. That was another hit stick. I'm going right to that tackle that's over nobody. Right there. There we go. Here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh. I'd say Middle Tennessee State beat LSU. So Q, my uh, number two granddaughter turns four on Saturday or Sunday. I think we're having the party on Sunday. That's the the one that has downs. She is she is smart too. That girl, she doesn't talk a whole lot, not very clearly, but she is uh she is a smart just because she has downs doesn't mean a damn thing, man. And we don't treat her any differently than the uh than the uh Oh, there are ninety sevens out two weeks. We don't treat her any differently than the others, and uh it has uh helped. Don't be shoving my guy down like that. That's disrespectful. Got him. Is that Jimmy? That was Jimmy. There you go, James. So we're at 13 quarters without a point. Getting ready to make it 14. I got to figure out the pass game.
What's up, Mirrors? Hey, we're on a shutout streak, man. We haven't given up a point since uh, second game. That's what's up. How you doing? We uh, we have a sweaty ass game against Alabama here, so we have uh, no easy task. They're two and four, but they're still good. All right, it's fourteen quarters, guys. Oh, I'm getting hungry too. Run this play. Somebody get out there and hit those linebackers. And then the uh, D tackle slides through. All right, third and four. Oh, FG with the backhanded snag. Look at that. Reaches back. Strong hands. Doesn't let the DB watch this catch. DB was trying to cut it off. And he's like, nope. Right over the top of his head. Smashing a veggie tray. Yeah. Once, uh, once my ankle is 100% and I get to uh, go back to working out, I got to go back to eating healthy, man. I have a huge sweet tooth. So the other day when I was at the store, I bought this one pound bag, bag of Twizzlers. Um, I ate the entire bag in one day. <laughs> I've crushed a two pound bag of gummy bears in three days before too. So bigger is my... Uh, my Achilles. So we got to get back to working out and only, uh, yeah, I have my only sugar um, coming from fruits. Touchdown. Yes. Yeah, I switched to, uh, I don't limit what I eat. I just, uh, like, I don't cut out carbs. I eat a lot of protein, um, protein shakes and stuff, and got to have, uh, Oatmeal with uh, ground up flaxseed and honey for breakfast, and then, and when I don't have that, um, I eat four uh, four eggs easy with toast. Oh, shit, missed my mark. <clears throat> and then when I work working out, I'll have the uh, protein shake for basically for lunch, <clears throat> and then I eat whatever I want for dinner, and then I'll have beef jerky and mixed nuts as my snacks, and try and limit the amount of. Um, the amount of uh, add high carb snacks and shit like that, but yeah, did you see? Uh, was it Apple? Apple or who? Who was it? Somebody just fired a bunch of people randomly because they were uh, unhealthy. <clears throat> Well, go. You're not. You're not keeping in shape. You're gone. <clears throat> there you go, Jimmy. Drag him down. These guys got to get their pass game going, or it's going to be over by halftime. Oh, you got to pick that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do. He's one for seven. What is the deal? Almost got there. <clears throat> All right, see if we can hit this out. 
They cut this off and picked it off last time. All right, I'm only looking at X and triangle. X and triangle, that's it. I want the deep post or I want this in. There you go, Bad Moon. <clears throat> if those linebackers stay up and cut off that in, that leaves the post route open because he's going to get on the other side of the safety right here. Boom, that's when I threw it. He's on the other side of the safety, and you lead him to the right. But if they play back and try and take away the deep over the middle, then you have that that uh, in route at the first down. That's all right. I'll take the two yards. KJ Brower, hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Five more days till Vandy loses to Hawaii. <laughs> You an SEC fan too? I'm a Mizzou fan here. Boom. Diabetic guy, 92. Hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome in, guys. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Mirz, I, uh, I was able to get a PS5 yesterday. Well, it'll be here later in a week. That uh, NCA, yeah. Um, Nine Lou. You know Nine Lou? You know Lou? He, uh, he was streaming that for a while when he was streaming. And I think uh, JT Gaming was streaming some of that as well a while back. Probably back when the uh, College World Series was going on. I got a PS2 sitting right there. Michigan Wolverines. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm a Mizzou fan. So know about the uh, Big 12 and the SEC. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go. Hopefully we can become relevant again in the next couple of years. I had uh, somebody I used to work with uh, graduated from Michigan. <clears throat> he came and worked for us for a while, and then he got a job with ESPN. He works in their fantasy sports uh, department. <clears throat> All right. Missed the first one, but Jimmy got him on, cleaned him up on the second one. All right, big third and seven. We're going to bring some heat. I'm not worried about the quarterback scrambling, so we need to uh, press and try and get in the backfield as quick as we can because this guy is not very fast. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> if the quarterback is not mobile, you got to blitz the shit out of him. <clears throat> and he came in hard and fast. I'm waiting for the Q comment about that. Oh, nice high tackle. They have negative two yards in the quarter. Ten yards of total offense. Wow. Yeah, I saw that I was staring that route down the entire way. He had no help over there as long as the DB stayed back. <clears throat> All right. Got it centered on the field now. Second and seven. Call another run. I'm trying to wind this clock down too so I don't score and give them a bunch of time. The linebacker blew that play up because the offensive line missed their blocking assignment. All right, third and seven. All right. Circle. X. There you go, FG. Big first down reception. Thank you. <clears throat>
to run this stretch play. Hoping to pull somebody off that side to the other side. I actually wanted to flip the play as well. Here, let's do this. Let's eat more time. I'll take a field goal if I have to. I just need one more score. First down. There we go. Purple sky. Got to take a picture. You can post it on your Discord. Mac Packin, hey, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome in. All you uh, new guys in here, do you guys, uh, you guys stream at all? You guys stream NCAA? Oh, he's hurt. NCAA or uh, Madden or any of that stuff. This guy keeps getting hurt. He's got to stay on the field, man. There it is. Boom! <laughs> Diving touchdown. As soon as he got off the press, it was just a rocket pass. Wanted to burn more time off the clock, but I'll take the points at this point. There we go. Posted. Okay, cool. I'll check it out later. Guys, we're 44 seconds away from a goose egg for 15 quarters. Ooh, thought he was going to jump in front of that. I don't know if he got the first down, but I thought he was going to jump in front of that and pick that off. <clears throat> What was that? All right, so they scored with 33 seconds left in the quarter. TCU did, so we're right at 15 quarters right now. Oh, my running back's out a week. All right, well, that sucks. I don't like the backup at all. We'll deal with that against Ole Miss in the next stream. <laughs> he doinked 51 right in the head with the pass. <laughs> he smoked him right in the forehead with the ball. We're just going to stay on this defense until they beat us. There's no point in running anything else. I'm calling timeout. I want the ball back. Hungry. There we go. A couple more plays, get in uh, field goal range. All right, I'm going to call timeout.
Circle and square. God damn it. I tried to loft that over his head. FG was wide open and he threw it too low. That might have been a touchdown, FG. <laughs> Got him. Boom. There we go. I should have lost. I should have just tapped it instead of trying to throw a line drive. All right, guys, that's 15 quarters. This will never happen again. Oh, almost got the pick. Nice try. You gotta quit running the ball. Thank you very much. I'll take that. All right, FG, let's see if we can get this past to you or not. No, doesn't look like it. We'll see. Wow. All right, well, I saw X doing the post over the middle. I was ready to throw it, and I was on the ground. Let's go back to that play I ran earlier. This uh, run and shoot switch dig. I put my uh, halfback stay in the block and I look circle and square. That's all I'm looking at, circle and square. There we go. <laughs> we beat George earlier. We beat him 41 to 17 to start the year, man. Jesus. They want me to throw the ball, guys. They do not want me to run. They want me to throw the ball. I don't mind taking a field goal here at all. So we're going to try and get this running back up to speed. Remember our other guys out 
for this week, the rest of this game, and next. So we got to get this guy going. I already have the thumbnail done for this one. I was going to say Road Warriors because we had to go on the road for three weeks. I might have to change it to Goose Egg. <laughs> He's three out of 13. Unbelievable. Oh, and he almost threw his third pick. Wow. Jefferson with another pick. Go, Pierre. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. You're down you're down fourteen to Georgia? Oh, man. Yeah, that would piss me off to have to face that. <laughs> here, I'm going to try and hit you with a pass here, FG. I want to get you a touchdown. They just won't let you catch the ball. They refuse to let you catch the ball. We're basically treating these passes like long handoffs. Stay in the middle of the field, let the clock run. <laughs> There you go, Rocky pushes it in. Only two more yards to get her 100. Yep, this game really uh, took off in the second quarter.
Guys, you never know what you're going to get out of this game from day to day when you stream. <laughs> some days it cheeses the hell out of you and makes just some of the most ridiculous plays against you. And today, we just... Uh, nice throw. Seems to be that way today. We'll see. Need to stop here. Threw that out of bounds. He's way out of bounds. This guy has almost as many picks as he does completions to his own team. Go down. It took three guys to drag him down. <sighs> oh, man, that really sucks. So you not only lose the recruit, but then he's uh, shoving against you. That's not fun. How did he not go down? Oh, my God. How did he not go down? <laughs> There we go. Stopped him. <laughs> the streak is alive, boys. Almost to 16. Jimmy could have had a pick there. Close to 16 quarters. Damn. Their linebackers are all over the place. All right. Let's quit fucking around. Seventeen straight revamp. Seventeen. There's the inside zone run that I tell you guys to run. <laughs> and now they hurt your quarterback? Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, we're off to the fourth. All right. I'm telling you, FG, 3-4, the 3-4 over. Revamp, what uh, what what do you have your injury slider set at? Because I usually put mine like 25. Jesus Christ. Where did this dude come from? Look at this play. Where did this guy come from? He's following the guy in motion. I don't hand it off. And instead of going there... He just blows me up. Tell me this game doesn't cheat. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely knock that down to 25. Normally, offensive linemen don't get hurt in Madden at all, so they fixed something so that they do because they rarely would get hurt. What is the they they like all hung up on my guys and wouldn't get off of them?
Wow, they're all over me right now. Linemen like to break their ribs. <laughs> Baked him out. Made him think I was going to throw that ball, and I took off all the way to the outside. They're like playing that guy over the middle, and we just said, eh, fuck you. Exactly, FG. They should have more guys that are probable and questionable. And, and I don't have a problem with them having guys being injured, but they should miss like one or two weeks, not six or eight weeks. Um, I, th I think they tried to do that with the uh, practice injuries and stuff. Um, and so it is kind of cool to have that element where a guy gets hurt late in the week and you don't have him when you think you are. Um, what, what is really messed up, and I completely turn off, is the fatigue because late in the season, your backups play 99% of the snaps. The, your stars will play one snap and then they're out for the rest of the game. So I turn off fatigue. I might have to check with the practice injuries and kind of leave it on, but I, I don't want, you know, every week having six guys out with injuries. Fuck. All right, they really want us to throw the ball. Fine. You should not, uh, you should watch what you ask for because I love to throw the ball. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's still broke. Get forward, boom, got the first down. All right. I'm putting two clock on right here. Oh, well, shit. No wonder we have trouble here. Dude, we've been playing on regular uh, adjustments the entire game. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All of a sudden, my guys know how to block. Isn't that crazy? Let this clock tick, 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 tick. All right. It's going to be 49. Where's George at? That was a four minute drive. Goes home crying to his mama. <laughs> yeah, Ray, I do love the new player tag stuff, but it's messing up free agency because they don't, they're not, I believe they are not franchise tagging their own players. So when you get to the second year at the end of the year in free agency, you end up with Justin Jefferson and Boza and, um, uh, Burrow and all those guys are free agents because they can't stay on their own team. Well, shit. That was not a play that we needed to give up. Yeah. My problem with the fifth-year option is this. They don't tell you what that contract is going to be. So they say, do you want to sign this guy? And you're like, yes. Okay, and then they do it, but it doesn't tell you what that jump. Hey, this guy's going to go from seven million to eighteen million. I would rather sign him as a free agent instead of taking that fifth year and have them double their salary and not know until I get to the next season. So they need to, on the fifth year thing, tell you what the fifth year salary is going to be. 
because they know what it's going to be because as soon as you say yes and go look at them, it shows you what that contract is. Yeah, Raiden, all these teams, those tags are keeping players from re-signing with their own teams. Franchise players are leaving and going into free agency. Derwin James is a free agent after the first year every single time. But yeah, Burrow and Bosa and Justin Jefferson, and there's just like so many superstar X Factor star. They're all they're all out there as, as free agents. Yeah. There's a couple of posts on Reddit about that already. All right. We're going to take a chance of trying to get to the quarterback before these guys can get open. Um, yeah, because they're going to score on this drive unless we get a turnover. He just threw that out of the end zone. <laughs> All right. Yeah, apparently it's uh, pretty bad that a bunch of teams, because they have a bunch of cap space. They have a bunch of cap space, and they don't re-sign their own guys. There we go. Sack. All right. Need one more sack, and then see if they go for it on fourth down instead of uh, kicking the field goal. All right, fourth down. Let's see if we can stop him. Huge play. God damn it. We gave up the shutout streak on that bullshit. We had him stopped in the backfield. He stopped. He punches my guy in the face and then takes off around the edge. Damn near 17. Damn near 17 quarters. This is fucking bullshit. Told you they were going to score. We had them at fourth and two. I had the right defense. We had them stopped in the backfield. <laughs> That's all right. We had three goose eggs in a row and almost four. Yet they can drag us down in the backfield that easy. Circle square. Good old circle square. Or we give him a little shim sham and throw it to X right over the top for the touchdown. <laughs> A 
That's what I think of their EA broken tackle bullshit. Watch, we're probably going to drop to number four after dominating the shit out of this team, too. Guys, yeah, so we've given up 34 points all season. Yeah, the only problem with the trade mechanic revamp is if they uh, you trade for a guy and his tags are not good, then then he'll leave you and not come back, right? Ah, oh, shit. So you can trade for him in the last year of his contract, and then he walks away. So I, really, for every player on your team and every player on their team, anybody you're trading for, whatever, you got to look at their tags. Got to look at the tags. You got to make sure it's going to be beneficial for you, for him to stay on the team. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. There you go. Take him down. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good trade for you. Oliver's been uh, a beast. Yeah, the uh, find a trade offer is, is much better. Actually, though, I think sometimes they... Uh, they give you a good trade, but it, you're trading a player to a team that already has a good player at that position, and so it doesn't make sense to make that trade. Hey, he didn't score. All right, 56-7 to 7 was the final. So I've given up seven points the entire day, 34 points in six games. Went from zero shutouts to three in a row and almost 17 straight quarters. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Hello, Zoo. How are you? All right, let's check the player stats. 22 of 30, 338, two touchdowns, two picks, one sack. We had 140 yards rushing. Larson got hurt. Love, 9 for 160. Peterson had two touchdowns. Look at all those TFLs. Eight TFLs, four, five sacks, three picks. Let's exit this. Advance the week. See what happens with our recruits. Um, next stream, we will have Ole Miss with a shit ton of people coming in for visits. Then we go to Auburn, and then we host Navy. <clears throat> if we win those three games, we will tie our own career record of 75 straight wins. See if I can find something here in one second. One second. We're going to try something here.
Boom. There we go. <laughs> All right. This is my playbook, guys. Here. Hold on a second. Look at all these guys we have coming in next week. We have nine guys coming in next week. All right. Let me save this where I'm at. Okay. And while that's saved, we're going to go back here. So this is my playbook. So I have the ace for ace formation, right? With bunch, bunch base, tight, trio, twin tight end slot. This is the one, this formation right here is the one I like to make those tight end throws. So plays I like to throw a lot. I uh, mark them in red. And if I really like them, then we'll uh, put the asterisk, double asterisk on there. <clears throat> Suck. And then we have the pistol. I don't run a lot of pistol, but we have these plays in the, but we run these formations out of pistol and these are all the plays that I run. <laughs> Shotgun on the other hand, <laughs> I have all of these formations with all of these plays. And here's even more. I have 16 shotgun formations. And the red ones are the plays I call frequently. So those are this is the X shotgun ace, shotgun normal, shotgun spread, right? And then I have uh, I formation normal, I have one. And weak, I have one. So it's almost all shotgun based. And ace. But anyway, that is my playbook. Which one is this? It's that one right there. <clears throat> yeah, it took me forever because I had to go through the playbook and go look up those plays. So, and then put them down. But let's go to edit playbook. <sighs> and you can see I have other playbooks on here that I've built. Just waiting for this to update. Come on. Here we go. So this is the one that I play with, but I also have spread, multiple, one back, another multiple, uh, this is my defense, air raid. This is another spread playbook, run and shoot, pro. So I have all of these offensive playbooks. <clears throat> Let's go into this one real quick, and I'll show you. This is... Uh, uh, add, remove, plays. All right. <clears throat> so... We go to three, four, over. This is the one I ran 99% of the time today for all three games. I've run it all season long. All right. This is the first play pretty much that I call to see what they run. It's three men under. So I have three defensive linemen rushing and the left outside linebacker is rushing. That's why I want to put revamp in that spot because he has really good pass rushing stuff for next year. The other three linebackers play run or cover, and then I only have four DBs, right? Then you have this one where you have those guys, same guys rushing, and then you blitz the corner. Cover two, I run this one and I press on the cover two. Cover three, I, I call once in a while. Cover four, eh. Cover six, never. Uh, crossfire is the same as, let's see, where is this? Yeah, crossfire I'll call every once in a while, but not not often. You're blitzing more of the linebackers, and you drop one of those defensive linemen into coverage, and I'd rather not have a uh, defensive lineman in coverage. Uh, this one I like to uh, blitz out of as well. So you're bringing 
seven guys in pressure right there. Engage eight's not in the playbook. This one's not in the playbook. Uh, this one, you're going to drop back into like a sink zone with two guys deep and blitz all the other guys that are on the line of scrimmage. Sting pinch and sting pinch zone. When I call an audible to stop their um, read option plays, this is what I call. So I still have those guys playing coverage, but I also hit triangle left, triangle right. So we base a line. Sir Panda, I thank you for the rate of six, man. Welcome in. How you doing, man? How was your day, man? You're playing Madden 23. Hey, welcome. Who are you playing with? I thought somebody said you were playing with the uh, Panthers. Are you playing with the Panthers, man? Welcome in. Welcome in. We're going over my playbooks right now for NCAA. So on this play, when I do triangle left, triangle right, um, it base aligns and then it does a fake blitz with the DBs. Panthers, nice. So you're playing with, uh, are you using Baker? Are you playing with Baker as your quarterback? Are you using Darnold? <clears throat> and how fun is uh, Chris McCarrick? Edmund. Uh, how good is McCaffrey running with? Fuck Darnold. <laughs> so anyway, this play, when you do triangle left, triangle right, will shut down the run, the read option, every time. This is the exact same play, but you're playing man coverage instead of zone. And then you get this one where the linebacker will drop back into a purple zone. And then this one, you're still playing three-man coverage. The linebackers will, will cover guys that go out. So you got one safety deep, and you're going to blitz one of those inside linebackers. You can't run for shit? That sucks. I have found so far that running is way easier than passing. So this is the 3-4 defense that I run, and and... Almost all game, we've been running this one, and this one, and this one. And every once in a while, I mixed in that. That's all we did. And that's how we had almost 17 quarters of shutout ball. Panda, we came this close to three straight shutouts today. Four straight on the season. It's crazy. And it's this defensive formation alone. Right here, this formation is what does it. Let me go to edit so you can see the, the, the play art much better. Mm -hmm. Add new formation. Yeah, I think it's this one that's better. Yeah, this one's better. So, nope, that's not it. That takes it away. It's in this one. Hmm. So I don't use these three, three, fives very much. I have them in here, but we don't, we don't run them too much. Some of these plays are also really good to stop the run, but you can see these, these other three fours is just to give them a different look, especially if I want to spy the QB, it'll shift the guys left or right. <clears throat> You got good safeties. Usually on these five DB situations, it'll bring in an extra free safety as your extra. It won't bring in a corner. It brings in an extra free safety. So you have two corners, a strong, and two frees. So you got to make sure your free safeties are pretty good coverage. And maybe one of them has good man cover skills. Let's go check out my uh, offensive one. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Not this shit again. There's a dude who made a website and he took all the play art from every single play and every single playbook, offensive and defense. And uh, he put it in a way that you can go in and look at them and try and find particular plays before you go in here to edit your playbook. 
<laughs> there is a uh, let me find this formation it's not this one Ace bunch no this one's really good so this one you can have your slot guys do deep outs and the outside guys just do short outs or you switch it and have the inside guys do short and the outside the outside ones are going to be receiver wide receivers the inside ones are going to be tight ends so you know the difference between those two guys um it's kind of a nice wheel route send everybody to the left and run that running back out there um Oh, T. Clink, you still in here, man? That play I ran against you at the end of the first half last season when I hit that deep bomb, this is it right here. So what you do is you take R1 and you audible to a block. And so as soon as you snap the ball, the quarterback's going to stand like two, two feet, one foot right behind the center. So you're going to get... What's up, fam? You're going to get smoked if you stay in the pocket. So you have to hit... R2 and run around the running back and get outside where that tight end is right away. You got to you got to circle out there in the space immediately so you don't get sacked. So that X tight end is going to run a little out there as your little dump off if you have to. But that circle route goes deep and if it gets behind the DB or to the right of the DB, you just run out to the right and you throw it as hard as you can and you push right on your left stick and it will throw it straight down the sideline and he runs over and gets the ball. When it works, it is incredible. When they have a DB cover that circle route, then you have to take off and run or bail and hit X or whatever. But that play is so good. Um, which one is this? Yeah, this is the one with the tight ends. Come on. So FG, when I was trying to throw those passes to you, is it this one? Yeah. So this is my favorite pass play right here to the tight end. I put R1 on a slant. I don't have him do that little stop route. I make him run all the way across the field so he gets past the middle linebackers. X is my main guy for that out. But if they take that X away, then you can throw it underneath the R. But I also look at square, and I tell you, I'm looking X and square because if the DB plays off, he's not pressing. If he plays back and there's no safety help, you just wait for square to get to his, his cut. And as soon as he turns in, you throw a hard pass, and he hits in front of the corner, and behind the linebacker and it's a guaranteed first down and then you have this play right here which one is it which is the exact same play except you put x on a slant and let r1 run the out and i i never throw the circle and square because they're never open it's either r1 or x or i take off and run and you can keep the halfback in to block get out of these pistol because I don't like using the pistol a whole lot. I used to use pistol, but I don't like it. I like this play, but if they don't cover it the right way, you're kind of hosed. All right, this is a good formation too. Shotgun ace. You got two tight ends in here, so you can run the ball, sweeps, and all that stuff. It's got some good passing out of here. Got flats. Got some in and outs, posts, right? This is the counter play I like to run. You can flip it and run it either way. You also have 
a regular just a quick base to the left. Yeah, the, the ones with the asterisk are the ones that revamp added to it. You still have a, a screen pass here. You have your regular suite. You have this one. So you have the uh, either the short hitch routes or you have the deep corners, deep outs. This one's kind of a mesh looking play. Here's a real mesh play here. <laughs> this is the run where you run the option play with the wide receiver. I like this. I like this play. Um, the triangle guy is a little too close to the X, so you can bring defenders into X's route, and so I don't use that one nearly as much. This one I automatically put X on a slant. Quarterback blast is eh, it's okay. I'll run this on the goal line. Love the quick slants. The read option is nice because if you're running, if you're running uh, counter play, counter play, counter play. Then you can hit them with this and, and mess them up. Twitch just lagged out. Refresh your stream, guys. This play right here, Panda, this is the play right here that went 95 yards against you, I believe. Is that right? No, wait. Is that it? No, that's not the right one. It was one of these, uh, it was one of these plays I got out of the, uh, I got it out of the Oregon playbook. Let's see if I can find it. This one's kind of cool too. You can put R1 on a, uh, a slant. X is supposed to be your main guy, but I find that he doesn't get open. Every once in a while, square will get open deep over the middle. This counter play doesn't always work because the receivers have the defenders too close to you, and so sometimes they, they break through. They don't block as well. This is a great formation. Here's the same air raid, but it's got the halfback and a wheel route. I love this one. So you got two curls, a post, and then you got the halfback wheel route. Um, this is the play I like to run. And if they bring the defender outside the defensive end, then I audible to the inside zone run. So the formation is exactly the same. Be fine. So it's this play right here, and this play here. So you call the counter, and if they defend it against it, you call your audible. Otherwise, you'd have to call the counter as your audible and go the other way. Hey, fam. Yeah, thank you. I it's supposed to be here in two to three business days, but I haven't seen an email with the tracking stuff yet. So I'm hoping by Friday. I like this wide receiver motion too. You got to make sure you go under formation subs and put your fastest wide receiver, most agile receiver on that slot formation and that inside guy so that you don't have a 88 wide receiver, 88 speed wide receiver when you got a 97 sitting on the outside doing nothing. This one here, none of these players can get bumped off the line of scrimmage. You can't press them because they all do that little zig at the beginning of their motion. And I always put X on a uh, slant as well. What's up, BB? Hey, BB, we almost had three consecutive shutouts in the stream. We gave up seven points late to Alabama, but we did have three straight shutouts. And we, we went almost 17 quarters without giving up a point. It's crazy. Went from no shutouts to three in a row and almost four. <laughs> Welcome in, man. We're just going through my playbook right now. This is another good inside zone run. This is uh, running with the quarterback.
Now this is a good counter play because you got those wide receivers out of the way so they can get out there, block those guys on the edge, and you still have one wide receiver that can block downfield. And then all you got to do is juke one safety or linebacker and get around them and you can go. Just the one. Yeah, I like this. So you got these levels with these guys doing the in routes, and then you got the running back, which will go. 